everybody, welcome back to the Fair Explains video. My name is Harry, today's trailer rundown. I'm happy to bring you the trailer, my trailer rundown for the Black Panther Conquer trailer. Now, personally, I think it's an amazing trailer. If you haven't seen it already, go ahead, click out this video, do whatever you need to, and go and watch it, because seriously, it is incredible. I'm so looking forward to watching this movie. Now, as always, as my other trailer rundowns, I'm not gonna be going over the entire trailer. All I'm going to be doing is looking at highlights from the trailer and bringing it forward so you guys can look at what I've seen. So, without further ado, let's get started. First things that I saw from the trailer was that it's very much a post-Civil War movie. You know, if you've seen Civil War, you'll know that Black Panther, I mean, T'Challa, uh, yeah, I'm saying that right, T'Challa, became king of Wakanda after his father died. And, of course, we see Andy Serkis's claw without his arm. You know, that was a major thing that happened in Age of Ultron, because, you know, Claw su supplied the vibranium and paid for it by having his arm cut off. Charming. And I've got his poster behind me right now, so I'm not an Ultron fan. <laughs> but no, I mean, you know, it's the fact that he's exploring this post Civil War world. He's been taught about morality and revenge. And, you know, we see his skills even more because, you know, you saw him a little bit in Civil War. But Black Panther is really showing off his skills right here his acrobatic style his stalking abilities, it just looks amazing. You know, I think he's gonna be a great addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And earlier, Claw's back and with a vengeance. I think Andy Serkis's Claw is incredible and he delivers a spine chilling performance in this trailer. You see him as a captive being freed and then later as some kind of terrorist attacking others. I think this is going to be interesting because it's going to extend the fight outside of Wakanda and across the world. Especially if what I think is going to happen is going to happen. Because in the comics, Claw gets like a cybernetic arm that allows him to control sound waves and stuff like that. Which could be quite the anti-vibranium weapon should it come into the MCU. And I'm excited for it. I think Claw was an interesting character in Age of Ultron. I, want, I don't want to see more of him because Andy Serkis is brilliant. <laughs> we get to see more of Wakanda in this trailer than anything we've seen in the MCU beforehand. You know, from what we've seen in, at the end of Civil War, it was shrouded in mist and forest, but here we see a bright, vibrant country with obviously tribal clothing and roots, but with lots of advanced technology. We've got jets and it just looks, oh, it looks incredible. We get to see some of the warriors fighting as well with traditional techniques. So I can't wait. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, was my trailer rundown for the Black Panther Conquer trailer. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by liking the video and let me know down in the comment section below what you'd like to see me cover in another video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon if you haven't already so you know exactly when I post another video. Until next time, Harry's out.